Looking for the perfect productivity tool can be like trying to find a needle in a digital haystack. There are literally dozens of SaaS tools on the market today, which is why in this video, I'm going to be covering two tools that I have been using extensively, Notion and Xtiles. Notion is known to be an all-in-one powerhouse of a SaaS tool, whereas Xtiles, which is a fairly new contender, focuses on simplicity and visual organization. Our evaluation criteria for both tools today will be based on ease of use, customization, features, scalability, and of course, pricing to see which one is best for you. All right, first up, we have ease of use. How easy is it for beginners to get into this tool and how intuitive is the interface? Notion offers the blank slate approach, which can be extremely overwhelming for beginners or people who are new to this type of software. I know for me personally, when I first got into it, I needed to dedicate hours to learning how the actual tool works, kind of like I had to learn like what you could do with it before I even could get into it and begin making what I wanted to do with it. Understanding features like the databases, the relations um, and the formulas while they are powerful, it, 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 it has a higher learning curve. Xtiles, on the other hand, starts with this kind of bullet journal approach to their interface, and you literally just drag your mouse across the screen and make these tiles, you make these blocks, and you kind of arrange them in whatever way makes visually the most sense to you. I think it's a lot easier to pick up right from the jump. It makes it feel more like a game that you're playing than like learning a productivity software. And it's more like visually appealing right off the bat. So based on all that, my verdict for this first round is gonna go to Xtiles. Xtiles was definitely the easier tool to get into and start using right away. All right, up next we have customization. A great productivity tool should adapt to you and your needs, not the other way around. So for customization, I really wanted to just give these both a tied score right off the bat. There doesn't seem to be like one feature or one component in either Notion or Xtiles that makes them more customizable than the other. Notion and Xtiles both let you arrange all the elements that you add to a page very easily. I think Xtiles gives you a little bit more freedom in that it's like grid based rather than kind of like column and block based. If anything, I would th think that Notion's like overwhelming amount of features would give it that kind of edge, but that's why I put features in a separate category. All right, so the verdict here is going to be that this round is a tie. Xtiles is sitting at two, Notion is sitting at one, giving Xtiles a one point lead over Notion. All right, up next we have features. Notion has an overwhelming amount of features out of the box. When it comes to raw capabilities, Notion has a laundry list of features. It has databases, charts, formulas, integrations, you name it, and it feels like they are constantly releasing new features to try out and potentially new apps to build upon the base product. Xtiles, on the other hand, definitely has less features out of the box, but I really like their, their to-do list, their task list, and their calendar a lot better than I like Notions right now. If you are someone who, who loves and wants endless amounts of features, Notion is the way to go. But if you're someone who does a lot better productively with simplicity and kind of a more visual layout then xtiles is definitely better for you i'm gonna give notion the point here for features but i think as xtiles develops it will become a much bigger contender here this is putting us square even right now we are tied notion and xtiles at two points each up next we have scalability can this tool grow with you as your needs become more complex. If you need more out of a productivity system, can it deliver? Can it maintain? If you're using it to be productive in your personal life, in your business, as you add more things to your life or to what you're working on, to your side projects, can this tool accommodate at a much bigger scale? And I have to say, in my humble opinion, I think Notion is a clear winner here. It can be scaled up from personal docs, personal productivity, like goal management, all the way up to enterprise level SaaS, like project management style product. I don't think Xtiles can do that 
just yet. So while X Tiles is great for personal productivity and smaller projects, I don't think it has the ability to scale to that higher level just yet. All right, this puts our current tally at two points for X Tiles and three points for Notion. <laughs> Couldn't even tell how many fingers I was holding up. And now last but not least, we're gonna talk about pricing. And this is pretty easy because both tools offer a free tier with enough features out of the gate to get you up and running. Ultimately, it depends on if you need those more advanced features to justify upgrading whatever tool you're using. Because the free tier, if you're just using either of these for personal productivity, the free tier will get you miles and miles beyond probably like any notebook or journal that you might be using right now. So I'm going to say pricing here is a tie as well. The only thing that would make one a clear winner over the other was if there was no free tier option, right? If Notion or x -Tiles only had you starting out at paying like $5 a month or something for their lowest tier, then it, the free one would win, obviously. But that's not the case. They're both free, so try them out. <laughs> And we have made it to the end of our evaluation, everyone. Let's summarize what we just went over. Notion definitely has more features out of the box and is better equipped to scale with you as you grow. x is definitely easier to use out of the gate and way more visually appealing. If you are a visual learner, if you're someone who has ADHD and has a hard time concentrating, then x -Tiles definitely will be a better tool for you than Notion, in my opinion. Both have free tiers and are extremely customizable within those free tiers, so you can try them both out and experiment to your heart's content. If you're someone like me who is looking to build a business on a budget, then Notion is great because I can use it for my personal productivity and I can use it for my business and life management as well, and it can grow with me to a very high level. And like I've said, if you value simplicity, visual organization, and ease of use, x -Tiles is definitely better for you in that respect. If I was only looking for a personal productivity tool to kind of have some fun with and like organize my daily life and kind of what I got going on, then I would definitely choose x -Tiles over Notion. Which tool do you think is better for personal productivity? Notion or x -Tiles. Let me know in the comments. And while you're down there, be sure to hit the like and the subscribe button to let me know that you want some more uh, personal productivity and some SaaS related videos. All right. I'm going to have a link down there for x -Tiles. If you sign up using that link, you'll get a discount if you switch to the, uh, if you sign up for the paid tier. All right. Cool. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.